In the book of Revelation chapter 1, the Apostle John sees a terrifying vision, a man standing among seven golden candlesticks. Here's how he describes it. His head and hair were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were like blazing fire. His feet were like bronze, glowing in a furnace, and his voice was like the sound of rushing waters. In his right hand he held seven stars, and out of his mouth came a sharp, double-edged sword. His face was like the sun shining in, its all, its, in all its brilliance. And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as though dead. The man John described was Jesus, and it scared him to death. Is that the image you picture in your mind when you hear the name Jesus? This is a, a visceral Jesus, powerful, majestic, dignified, direct, holy, wise, all-seeing, all-knowing, impossible to ignore. This Jesus is standing among his churches both to comfort and confront. This Jesus will not be domesticated, tamed, leashed, or caged. He will not be used. He will not be adjusted to make himself more marketable to the culture. He will not be reduced to a few letters on a t-shirt, bracelet, or bumper sticker. He will not become the religious decoration on a political party's platform, and he will not settle for half the world thinking he's just cool. This Jesus must be reckoned with, and he is powerful enough to take care of his people when his people need to be taken care of. If I were to stop right there, you might be as terrified as John was. It is an intimidating vision. But there's one more thing John saw that you need to see. It's in verse 17. He placed his right hand on me and said, Do not be afraid. In C.S. Lewis's Chronicles of Narnia, when the children first hear about Narnia's Lion King Aslan, they ask, Is he safe? And the answer comes, Of course he isn't, but he's good. He's the king, I tell you. Don't settle for a safe Jesus. Safe Jesus can't help you. What you need is a strong and dangerous Jesus, one who will call you not to a list of rules, but into a life. No, the real Jesus is not safe, but he's good. And until he's your king, you won't be either good or safe. Not a sermon, just a thought.